Welcome to a new video, my beautiful friends. Thank you very much for watching. Today, I have a wide variety of different nail art looks that I would like to walk you through. They are appropriate for this time of year, the holidays, Christmas if you're celebrating, and of course, the transition into 2016, New Year's Eve. Who the heck is not excited about that? Let's start fresh, people, already. If you are on Instagram, please follow me there because I like to post weekly looks that I hope will inspire you, and I would love to get your feedback. And of course, if you're not subscribed to this little channel, please do so for weekly videos that are meant to improve everyday life from tips to tutorials and everything else in between. Thank you so much for being here. I love you for watching and let's start look number one. Okay, I first applied two coats of Allure from Essie on all fingers but the ring finger on which I put one coat of number 220 Celebsity from Sally Hansen. It's really rich so one coat was enough. I applied a clear coat on all the nails, let them dry for about 10 minutes, then using the white straight tape from What's Up Nails, I did some French tips. You'll notice that they are slightly higher um, than usual and then what I normally make them but I will use silver stripping nail tape in a little bit and that will fill in the look. I will list all the products you see today in the description box below. If you click show more you will get to see everything and really quick I wanted to let you know that I actually filmed more tutorials than you'll see today. I couldn't add them all in this video because otherwise it would have been 20 minutes long. So if you are subscribed to get the email from me every Friday, you will get the extra looks in your inbox alongside all the private tips from Tuesday's video about how to market a business. So good stuff. For more dimension on the ring finger, I added two coats of this beautiful glitter from Essie and top coated everything as the final step. And there you go, look number one. This next look was inspired by Maria from at the cotton sugar on Instagram. I linked her page below. You have to check it out. It's so awesome. I started with two coats of each nail polish and uh, topped it with a clear coat. Now, when it comes to nail art, I use the metal lid of a candle jar to hold colors. Using a large head dotting tool, I created the center of this design. And then with the number 10 detail brush, I started drawing the snowflake on the index finger. As I've been playing around and practicing with designs, I notice that the more relaxed and comfortable the hand I'm drawing on is, the easier it will be. There is no rule to what angle to hold the finger you're doing nail art on. Just take one deep breath, relax the arm, and position yourself only how it feels comfortable. We'll draw some hearts on the pinky next, and I find that hearts are easiest to do with a dotting tool. I use a small head one here and a large head dotting tool for the thumb as you'll see in a few. Next for the middle finger. I love the sweater look on nails for the holidays and these designs were accomplished by using either the dotted tool or the same number 10 brush you saw earlier. I really kept switching between the two. I always start designing from the middle of the nail toward the outer edges and always go in light with a little polish first just to outline the design. Then add more and really fill it in.
For the ring finger, I use the Dear Vinyl from Twinkle Tea. They're really the best vinyls I've used so far. And on their page is where I saw this design from Maria for the first time. I kept the color scheme and the general idea of the designs because it's just such a beautiful look. But of course, all the details are different. Tap down the vinyl with your finger to make sure there are no bubbles and no space the polish could creep through outside of the stencil. It's really important to do this when the base coat is really dry. Apply whatever color you want to go on top, then ideally, with tweezers, remove the vinyl slowly, but start removing it immediately after applying the top color. You don't want it to dry. Afterwards, with a small dotting tool, you can give the impression of snowflakes falling on the outer edges. Apply one final clear coat after giving everything a couple of minutes to dry, and ta-da! The third look is easy and pretty self-explanatory, so I'll just keep quiet as a mouse and let you enjoy it. For the fourth look, I started with two coats of the Essie polish and one clear coat. And after a couple of minutes, I painted the white tips. The starting line does not have to be perfect because we will mask it with a mistletoe design which will be so beautiful and perfect for Christmas. First step is to use a green polish and create the design like so. Then I added a small drop of black polish and mixed it together to create a darker green which we will apply on top. We don't want to completely cover the green we already have, we simply want to create a little bit more dimension. After you're done using a red polish and the dotting tool, dot the berries in. After the round you see in this video, I went over the berries a second time with the same polish and the same dotting tool to make sure they really stand out. The last step in the design is to use a white polish and on the top right corner of each berry, add the illusion of snow. After a couple of minutes of letting everything set in and dry, apply a clear top coat and there is your look number four. 
for the fifth design, I painted the middle and ring fingers with white polish, the other ones with a candy pink. I applied two coats of each polish and rounded up with a top coat. And we are going to create a candy cane look. So using the same brush I've been using, cleaned of course, I drew thicker red lines and thin pink lines in between, which you'll see in a minute. And just like the previous lines in the video, I start light and thin from the middle toward the outer edges and build up from there. After a couple of minutes of letting everything dry, apply a clear top coat and there is your candy cane look. The next design started out with two coats of each nail polish like so. I added a little bit of sparkle on the ring finger and then of course a clear top. Let everything dry and then using a liquid latex like this one, which I don't know how I lived without before, apply around the middle finger. We're going to sponge, so consider how big or small your sponge is and then apply the latex on the edges accordingly. I'm a little messy so I applied thicker edges. Let it dry until it becomes almost clear and then go in with the sponging and look just how easy it can be removed and the area is so much easier to clean. Add a clear coat. Next the honeycomb stencil is from Twinkle Tea. Remove it slowly and then pop out any pieces that get stuck. I cut the edges so it can adhere to the nail better and have little to no bleeding under the vinyls. Like with all these vinyls, remove slowly but immediately after applying the top color so it doesn't dry with the sticker still attached. Now a creative way to get holiday nails if you don't feel like putting too much time or effort in is this! How awesome is this? Have a simple base on top but glitter on the inside of the nails. Obviously the longer the nail is to see that sparkle the better. I did a combination, two coats of gold glitter and one of silver chunkier glitter for dimension. It's so easy and super fast and it looks really fun. It's like business on top but party on the bottom. <laughs> That is it for our little video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a like and leave me a comment below. Let me know which look you liked the most and also what you would like to see maybe for 2016 because I will do a spring tutorial in the very near future. Don't forget that today is the last day to enter in my thank you to you giveaway. I will link the video for you in the description box below. And this is the last time I'm gonna be in videos with you as a bronze or whatever the hell this color is. I'm changing so it's gonna be a pretty dramatic change I'm nervous as hell I hope it won't look like shit but I hope I like it I hope you like it so in any case thank you again for being here for being subscribed and being connected with me on social media I love you and appreciate you so much in return may good luck and fortune follow you everywhere you go today and every day I love you bye